Hey fam, welcome back to my channel. This is the Blessing of Souls Octavia, and today I'm going to be showing you how I transform this um, dress, this beaded dress I got from the open market. Okay, when it's sleeveless, and I needed to add and take out some details. The dress is big, and the slit was really long at the back. Okay, so it was showing my legs. So first thing I did was to close up the sleeve, the slit by three inches. Okay, the, the dress is um, beaded all through, so it was need every adjustment I made on this dress was done with needle and thread. It didn't go through a machine. Next thing I bought mesh. I had two options. Okay, this is one one on my left and right. I finally went for this one because it was lighter and I think it matched more with the dress. The dress is already heavily beaded, so I didn't need um, something really busy. So this is me cutting out the sleeve, sleeve length, this is the fitted part of the sleeve. I worked the sleeve length of 25 because my arms are really long, That's maybe that's where my insecurity of wearing sleeveless comes from. Okay, so this is me making the fitted part of the sleeve, like that. Then at the hem part, I also pleated, I also added a pleat detail to give it some cheeky look. You know make it look very sassy then i went on to hand tack the sleeve on the dress okay so i pleated i also cut out six inches that's for the pleated detail since it was six inches long while the main sleeve was around um, 25 21 inch long sorry so in total my sleeve length was 27 inches After pleating, this is what I have. I um, join it together, then and attach it to the main dress itself. So I had to sew it from under the dress because that part also had beads, and if I had um, cut it through, everything would have scattered. So I just used my needle and thread, tucked it round, and this is what I have at the end of the day. And. Um, And boom, a new dress emerges. I hope you like this and we'll be dropping more of this kind of content. I'll see you in my next video.